right, you guys. Welcome. Welcome to Audrey's reading area. Today's Tuesday. Should be educational Tuesday, but I got the t-shirt day on today. And thank you for being here. Don't forget to click that like button. Click that share button. Then go on over to YouTube and look for Audrey's reading area and smash it off. Alexa, what time is it? It's 8 p.m. Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. <laughs> That's live, L. I. V. E. Live at 8. Well, all right, all right, all right, you guys. Obviously, you know what I'm going to be reading about too. Uh, yes, we're going to have a fun day. Oscars trashed or peace. Oscars trashed or peace. I love trash. He loves trash, Oscar. Yes, he's in his little garbage can. He loves trash. It's a Sesame Street book. So let's just jump right into this Sesame Street book. It says we make, okay, they make them come alive. So let me put on my other glasses so I can read this fine print at the bottom. Maybe I can see who wrote this one in particular. It says we make books come alive. Sesame Street Workshop. Written by Brian Houlihan, illustrated by Sesame Street. Yes, the Sesame Street Workshop. Narrated by Marty Peterson, but this time right now, it's gonna be read by Audrey. Written by Brian Houlihan, illustrated by the Sesame Street Workshop. Oscar's Traster Piece. Traster Piece. Oscar loves trash. If you guys watch Sesame Street, you know he loves trash. Anything to rotten or ragged or rusty. So, this is a interactive book, how to play. While you read, press the buttons. Um, but I don't have the interactive thingy. So, I will just be reading to you guys. So, when you see all these little things to press, I don't have it. I apologize. i sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> a masterpiece is an artwork or other project that takes a great skill. It takes great skill or that people admire. That's what a masterpiece is. One day while proudly looking at this at his pile of trash, <laughs> Oscar gets a great idea. He'll build a masterpiece. No, even better, a trashterpiece. He gathers together busted roller skates, an out of tune guitar, and some other busted things. The busted means messed up or broken. The trashterpiece is coming along, but Oscar needs to find more trash. <laughs> Oscar searches the block for the perfect pieces of trash. My trashster piece needs something square. Can you buy, can you guys find something square? I don't have anything square around me. Maybe you guys can find something square. A square is a shape with four equal sides um, and four equal angles. Will you help Oscar search Sesame Street for these squares? This is a square. Can you find a square in this picture? This is also a square. Find something that's a square. Pause and find it. I think I'll help you. I see. Mm, that looks like a square. What do you think? Hmm. So we need to find a faraway window, a baby blanket, a sardine and tomato sandwich. Well, we found the window, I think. A faraway window. These are windows far away. A baby blanket. Ah. A sardine and tomato sandwich. 
<laughs> there you go. Good job, you guys. You guys found it before me. This yucky sandwich is one great piece of trash, says Oscar. It has four sides that are exactly the same and sardines. Now I need something with two long sides and two short sides. Oscar needs a rectangle. Maybe one of these will do. Rectangles have two long sides and then two short sides like this building. We found it. We found one. A door and an old chalkboard is a door. See, it has two long sides and then two short sides. That's what a rectangle is. Good job, you guys. Ah, find the board. An old chalkboard. Can you guys find that? Good job. Good job, you guys. Big Bird sees Oscar at work and wants to help. Maybe there is something for your project at my nest, he says. I don't know, grumbles Oscar. I'm looking for something with three sides and three corners. What does that sound like to you guys? A shape that has three sides and three corners with three angles. Those are hard to find. Oscar is looking for <gasps> triangles. Good job, you guys. This is what a triangle looks like. See? three corners and three sides. Good job. Let's help him. Can we find a sailboat sail, a flag, an old triangle? Find it, you guys. A good job. You guys are finding it. The sailboat, the triangle, and what else? Yes. You guys found it. Good job. Aw. Good job, you guys. Let's see what he's looking for now to add to his trash to piece. Oscar plays the triangle. It's out of tune, he says. It's perfect. Next, Oscar searches for something shaped like a circle. A circle is perfectly round and has no corners or sides. Let's look for circles at the beach. Maybe one will be just what Oscar is looking for. Oh, snap, y'all. Looky, looky. A beach ball, a cookie, a coconut. So we would look for a coconut in the coconut tree. We found some coconuts. Can you guys find the beach ball? Oh, right, right, right by my thumb. Yes, good job. And what else are we looking for? A cookie. Who has, <laughs> who has that cookie? <laughs> the cookie monster has it. This is a circle, a circle. Good job. Oscar can't find any junky circles at the beach, only nice ones. And who wants those? <laughs> he doesn't want any nice ones. What circles can we find for Oscar at the park? Let's find out. What circles can we find for him at the park? We have bottle caps, we have the sun, we have a basketball. Find them in the picture, bottle caps, the sun, and a basketball. Good job, you guys, bottle caps. Basketball, the sun. Good job, you guys are so good. Good job. Big Bird's basketball got a hole during the game. Now it's just right. <laughs> Oscar says it's just right. Oscar needs one more round thing, but he doesn't want it to be a perfect circle. Oscar is looking for an oval. This is the shape of an oval. That way or this way, it's still an oval. Can you find anything in this picture
that is shaped like an oval. We have eggs, a platter, a dirty mirror. Find them. Pause and find. Wow, good job, you guys. The dirty mirror, the platter. The eggs are in the tree. Oh, good job, you guys. <laughs> good job. Aw. A dirty mirror, says Oscar. What luck. Oscar needs one last piece of trash, one that has four equal sides and looks like a squashed square. Oscar needs a rhombus, a rhombus. A kite is a rhombus. Let's find the right one for Oscar. A blue kite, a green kite, a purple patched kite. Can you find those kites in the picture? Good, you guys are so good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Good job. <laughs> Look at Oscar. <laughs> good job, you guys. Purple patched kite. <gasps> Look at Oscar here. This crashed kite is the last piece of trash I need to build my trash piece, says Oscar. Before he starts building, Oscar wants to separate the trash into two piles, trash with corners and trash with no corners. We can help. Aw, trash with corners, trash with no corners. Take a quick look and take a look picture. Oh, and he's got a little wormy worm in his hand. Oh, I forgot his name. Ta-da, says Oscar. All his friends clap. They are proud of how hard Oscar has worked on his sculpture. I'm glad you like my grouchy trash piece, says Oscar. Now scram! <laughs> now scram! <laughs> Look at all these odds and ends. See if you can find these objects. These objects. Look, there's like a whistle. See if you can find these objects in this picture. Pause and find it. Pause the video and find it. Good job. The end. That's the end of the story. Oscar's trash piece. I love trash. He loves trash. I love trash. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here and listening to me read fun and exciting books like Oscar's Trash to Peace. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here once again. Um, shout out to everybody that's here watching and everybody that supports. Shout out to everybody that shares my videos. My girl, Victoria. My girl, Sheena G. And my cousin, Ellie. Shout out to you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here and supporting. Don't forget, you guys, click the like button. Click the share button. Oh, I might have had it reversed. Don't forget to go on over rolling, rolling, rolling to YouTube. Roll into YouTube and look for Audrey's Reading Area and smash that subscribe button for me. All right, all right, all right. I will see you again live, L-I-V, live at 8, tomorrow, 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 I'll see ya tomorrow. It's only one day away. Live, L-I-V, live at 8.